Well, that's a very blunt question. The fox is lying to you. Friends and neighbors, and have confidence that the team will keep you safe. But now you start to see it, sir. The people never happy. <laughs> That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Hi David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Four old ladies from East Grinches. That's followed at 8 p.m. by award winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee length sock and its importance during the Great Blackouts of 1971. Not one to miss. You should be getting a signal from the studio soon. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be grilling his guests in Incisors and tonight sees a return for leading economist Katie Brightman. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Weather Report before we say Five, four. But now... It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hams leaves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two, in three, National two, one. Lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Switch to screen one. Lovely, mate. 
country. But first, the votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. Well, forget a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right and use the right analogue stick on your controller to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leaders accepted. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the elections. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. It's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, love you too. No. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Going in five, four, three... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, I'm ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. ...latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that a challenge right. a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course. Been on that show a bit long. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it, 